Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more MLB The Show. It looks like we're going to continue on, even though I thought that maybe I was going to be a bit done for a while after the last season that we finished. Uh, Tony Clint did not have a very good <coughs> end of 2020 in that year, but we are now on to 2021, and uh, I decided to kind of view over our roster. We have a pretty good lineup, you know, overall-wise <coughs> of pitchers. Uh, but it'll just see if uh, we can keep it up. Um, our relief pitching is kind of all over the place because it looks like we have like <clears throat> some other people um, that are really low overall. But maybe there's a reason because statistically maybe they're better. I don't know. We don't even have a closing pitcher up in uh, majors. Um, but I noticed that we have Justin Bauer. And I think if I'm remembering correctly, he was the guy I was facing on Miami. Um, that was kicking my ass. I wanted to see the other teams on what they have and what they're making. Um, all the pitchers are making a lot, and I'm making <laughs> I'm making so little at, on the major league level. But oh well, not a big deal. It's not like money actually does anything. It's not like it's the 2K basketball, you know, the VC where it actually kind of matters because, um, because that I kind of wonder if they'll do something where money might actually matter, like how much you make might actually help you in some case. I don't want it to go down the VC route type deal of what 2K does, because that's too, like, money grab, like, f fucking pay-to-win nonsense for an like, actual $60 game and not a free-to-play. So that's why it's like, it'd be cool to see it, some something be involved. I don't know what, because I really don't know what the fuck you'd buy, because it's not like you're going to buy yourself a bus or a, a, a private jet or some shit, possibly, but I, I, I mean, it seems a little too far out there if you built up a lot of money. So, I don't know. Maybe just new equipment that you can get. Instead of it all being earned through cards. I don't know. There could be something they could do. But we're going to start with a new season now. We did the whole sim through uh, spring trading. So, we'll see what we can do in the uh, new season. We'll see. Work on that break. All right. Robert Stevenson and Tony Clip. 2 and 0 Braves versus the 0 and 2 Reds. Let's see. I don't know, maybe we might have playoff contender maybe. No. Look, when a certain team kicks off to a hot start, you know it can turn around real fast. <clears throat> but we'll see. Last time against the Reds was, you know, I only pitched for 4 innings, got a loss, but a low ERA only gave up 2 hits. A home run. I think I was relief pitching against the Reds at one point. I don't remember. Like, against them, I said. Cody Clip back at it again with no more of that neon colored glove. He's back to the. I think we start with the blue glove back in last year's 17. Um, I'm glad they think I know how to pitch. I mean, my ERA was good, but just the win loss, if you're really looking at that, was not good. We'll see if that starts. In this one today. But uh, I think last year on MLB 17, we had uh, was uh, a blue glove. So we went back to the blue glove, and we'll just see how things go. His facial hair slightly changed up a bit. He let it grow and stuff over the uh, over the off season and stuff. His hair came back out. He's not got that that rat tail anymore that he was sporting at the end of the season. The bad luck rat tail. Maybe this is the new season where he gets things turned around, even though I gave up a hit against the fastest man in baseball. But he's out trying to stretch it. So, though I gave up the hit, it wasn't that bad. He really tried to stretch that whole fastest man in baseball tag. And he hit it right against the shift. Yeah, the old knuckleball that's been back and forth, good and bad. Joey Votto. Yikes. I don't think we got the good one working today. Oh, come on. <laughs> Like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something on speed if you're confident in it. Most and I am usually. Here's the 
Lifted the other way down the left field. Going with my confident knuckleball pitch. Will end up a foul ball. The three two pitch. Hard ground ball. Ooh, nice stop by the third baseman. And he got him. Good. Good throw. Good defensive range over there by Baldwin. I think he usually plays first, maybe? I think I saw him play first. Oh boy. Not only does he get the out at first, but he also... Uh, just a sec now. I can't move. I thought it was a foul because it stopped me, but no, it's just one of those things where the game doesn't know what the fuck to do, so I'll just stand here. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Row. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Man, we got to start fighting our pitches here. ...to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Ooh, that looked like he wasn't going to make it to the plate the way he had to reach over. He's found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable, and obviously that goes a long way. I'm well, glad they were talking about me, but sadly we ended the uh, inning. All right, so damage one, not terrible. In now for the Reds, Jesse Winker. Winker, please don't wink at me. I feel like I made that joke many times. I always make the same shit every time. Nope. I think it's just because my velocity is slightly lacking in the knuckleball. I think it's just too much of a lob in this, in the majors now. That they are just seeing it and crushing it. Great camera angle here, looking straight down the left field line. You see him take that inside route to the ball. His hands stay back, and he goes oppo to find himself. Oh, that's where we want that ground ball to go so it doesn't move the runner. Digging in the switch hitter, Tucker Barnhart. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Yep, another one. That's what we want. Some ground balls. at first, and there are two away now. So here's the Reds pitcher, Robert Stevenson, runner in scoring position with two guns. That's a good way to come back from a double is just getting back-to-back -back, uh, ground balls that literally stop him from advancing. Good job, Freeman. Thank God he didn't, like, fuck up with that. All right. A painless second. Digging in to try it again. Billy Hamilton. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. In there. No balls and a strike. Oh, God. I hit it, but I don't think my X button registered that. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Uh, I was trying to get it low, but we got it too high. Too much of the zone. Oh, no, you don't want to stretch it for another double? This one's going to be fun because he's really fucking fast, so he's going to easily steal. Oh, God, I don't know what he's swinging at, but I did the whole step. Not a bad pitch Wanted the corner. Strikes, but it misses one and two. I like that they went away with there we go. There. Nice they knuckleball. Really Get that strike out of the season so here. Probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat. One and I wanted to pull it to first while the runner's on. Now he bounces a knuckleball up to the plate for a ball. On 2-0, and oh, you can bet he's looking for a fastball. That oh, he got it, but he's not on the corner like I wanted. Picking on that big hole between first and second. Scooter Jeanette. Ooh, and he thought. And he thought. They won't let him walk that easily, as that somehow ruled the strike. Three and one now. Yikes. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. And there he goes towards second. Into the ground. Of course, he's too fast, but hey, I'll take the ground ball. Ready for another chance? Scooter Jeanette. He singled his last time up. Every time he says Scooter Jeanette, I thought he's going to say Jeanetti. Ball one. One and one. Hey, here we go. You got this. 
Oh, come on. Wanted that corner. Couldn't get the corner. That's a tough pitch to lay off as a hitter and a great pitch as a pitcher. That's one of those. How could he not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. Oh, popped him up. Kind of jammed him on that one. And that's the third out. All right. I have to bat now. So in now is the Atlanta I think we had a good okay average at the end of last season for batting. For a guy who doesn't have any stats in batting besides whatever is the basic and goes up slightly. Now here's the pitch. And he'll go after the first offering here, although this looked to be well below the knees. It's strike one. Wasn't that below the knees. It was right on my, right at, right there. That one was below my knees. That one was at my shins. Thought we were playing golf. Adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Look, I'm not a batter, all right? The facial hair and all this other hair I got to get in the way. I had hair in my eyes. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a fly ball, well hit. On the move is Calhoun. Calhoun. No idea who the fuck that is, but you know what? As long as you can make the play out there, I don't care. In once again, Jesse Winker. It was could be a Winker guy. His first turn at the plate. Jesse. Ooh, first didn't expect a sink. The first that strike. sink in action. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of a sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of... I don't know. He's, now he's golfing out there like I was. Right there had such good downward action. Great pitch. And he'll try and test throw. one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he just let it drop. It just fell right back into the zone. And I'll take that after some nasty swing and misses. Digging in for his second at bat, Bud Heskey. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ooh, just to get it in there fastball, pretty much. You know, Matty, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change. Ooh, right at him. That's the hot corner right there. Job, Baldwin. Riding into the box, Tucker Barnhart. He's whole for one thus far. Tucker Barnhart. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Hey, let's go right here. One and oh, one. right on the corner. We're just not getting that corner call. The one-one home. Don't want to usually throw it outside because if the shift's on, I don't know what our shift is right now. Um. I'm worried that he would push it that way, but I wanted to go outside after a bunch of inside pitches. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. That's Ooh, fun. that slider. Will that get yeah, Freeman. Nope. A nice job by the retreating Freeman's tall, baseman. isn't he? Or at least somewhat, like at least uh, six foot over, possibly six foot. I didn't really look at his height. Let's see. Some t first basements are usually pretty tall. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt. But oh, now you give it. I guess because it, it, it's easier to see that when you're against righties. Got him with the slider. Two up, two down to start the fifth. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Get it in there fastball. Ooh, he's he's not interested. One and one. One run, five hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. One and two, the count to Billy Hamilton. Yeah, right there, it's tough to be able to dive out over the plate. I know it's a pitch people think you can get to, but after you're pounded in twice, that ball looks like a when you're pounded in twice. Oh, got him just barely. It's me again. Next to bat for Atlanta, big dog Tony. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Nice try, asshole. Pena at second, Brantley at first with no out. Somebody saw the let it rip. Oh, I let it rip. I tried. Strike one. One one home is looked at for 
ball number two. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. This is flared out right over. Center. There we go. And that's not going to bring him around? Maybe? I didn't see it. No, but hey, I'll take it. I'm up the bat again? What happened? What happened out there? <laughs> Holy shit, we batted around. That's a new. We haven't gotten that. Our fucking team just decided to really eat him alive out there. Holy shit. What was this offense when I needed last year? I think the offseason we made some moves or something. Or some some players are finally fucking stepping up from the minor leagues. I don't know. The aggressive approach at the plate, but if you're not seeing the ball, maybe you have to take a step back. You find yourself with two strikes, absolutely. It's fine. We'll have to leave it there, as this is strike three, and that. Oh, I get to come out with a fucking lot of confidence to throw my ball, my pitches. All those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. No, one and one to count to Jake Lamb. Let's go, up, Here we go. go. Ooh. And he goes against the ship. Got that. I, that's why I don't like throwing outside sometimes when against the ship. But wanted to see if he'll go swing and a miss. Hey, he did an amazing job just to be able to get wood on this baseball and drive it through the infield. I mean, that pitch was executed perfect. Breaking ball down below the zone. Nice job. Right Not much for the, the team to be cheering about. There. Into the dirt, in fact. Like, in I'm surprised the they're not cheering that much. And there's one away. I mean, they're getting there. I guess I think I have the volume turned down, too. Sometimes I feel like they should be a little louder for this hitting we are, because it's our home, Line isn't it? <laughs> a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. Moment I thought we were theirs, and I was like, man, I understand them being quiet. Ooh, boy. Jesus, going to fucking clock him, lean in there, and take that. Kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you think you'd go right back there, but it's Ah, we switch it up, because why would you go right back? He can adjust before you do. So he sets him down swinging. Scooter Jeanette. Fighter running right in. For out number two in the sixth. Eugenio Suarez is at the plate. Back the back sliders, but I couldn't get the one to run outside right. Count now a ball and a strike. The one one. Hit hard on the ground to second. Losing a lot of ground balls, and I'm fine with that. Like I said, my original thought when I was coming into this was I was gonna be a big like ground ball type pitcher because I'm not going to get a lot of strikeouts. Then minor league, of course, you strike a shit ton of them out because they had no idea what the fuck to do to them. Knuckleball. That's a 50-50 call. the later innings, down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this. There you go. You got a base runner. A long single. A loud single there. The leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. I know the score's out of hand right here. But I've never met a big league ball player that's going to give away an at bat in any game. Man, we're just not getting the call. Nice piece of hitting right there, staying within yourself and grabbing you a knock. Ooh, that one deflects off him. I think it I'm got surprised I got that off. Still get the lead runner at second, so no double play. But boy, very fortunate to record the first out there. And time was it not a double play? We got two outs. Yeah, it hit me in the foot, man. It fucking hurt. But I'm like a tank out here. Yeah, I got that was a double play. I think the announcers just read it wrong. I was able to somehow make that into a double play. I literally did another one of those, like, I just pushing buttons and hope for the best because I kind of, like, whiffed that again. Now a hard liner. But foul. One run, seven hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. It's I've given up a pretty high, but the fact like I take this into a win account where if I give up like seven, eight, nine hits, not great, right? It's not good. You don't want to give up a shit ton of hits. But if you can give up eight, nine hits and you only give up zero to one run, I'll take that as a really good getting out of shit performance. 
And the fact that the team literally came in and just annihilated that guy in my one run was a moot point. We got to go in there and give seven hits up. All right, four strikeouts and only one run. That is a big turnaround after the end of last season. And we get to go on the board on our first game. I got to enjoy while I can. I'm stuck with this team for three years unless somehow I get traded. I like the idea of rumors floating around of just like he doesn't want to be on this team. He doesn't like the team. And then uh, I turn around and I'm just like, I'll sign with you for three years. All right, going to Philly against Jake Arietta. Not bad, not bad. This will be an interesting matchup. Look at that. We're same ERA. Both pitched seven innings. He had he gave up five walks, but he struck out eight and only gave up three hits. I gave up seven hits, no walks, and struck out four. Who will be the better pitcher in this matchup? My f wish I saw the pitching uh, stats against these guys. I saw how I batted against them, and I. Th I think that was mine, or how our team is. I didn't know what I looked at for that brief second. In now, Odubel Herrera. It lead things off here in the bottom half. Ooh, and we're zoomed in today. Here comes the first pitch. Back up the middle, and, that's and that sets the tone. It's all over. Take me out. Something in the works here with the leadoff hitter aboard and a guy that can really handle the bat in the number two spot. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack, without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. J.P. Crawford is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Guys, one of D-Rose former employers, the Braves, as they begin play here this Haven't afternoon. Have been winning? They're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Yeah, we've only lost yeah, like Matt, one game. Ready for game two. But yesterday, man, road trip got off to a great start. They pounded the baseball, pitched, played defense. This team comes in riding high into game two. Knuckle ball there, but it dances out. And we are not getting corners. Tony has made a name for himself as a I want to listen. Simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark uh. when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, that, oh, no. that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well, and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have to be able to throw inside and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. Oh, I'm glad you think so. You must be watching my minor league tapes. <laughs> Herrera's off and running. In there. Now the oh, and we got the strikeout on that. I think I got the corner that I've been bitching about. I think finally that $20 bill I slipped in is finally working. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. Yeah, I just caught the corner. Here comes the first pitch. There's a knuckle ball that dances right over the outside corner for a strike. Ooh, a little high cheese up there. Went right back it, and he didn't know what to do. I'll take it. Just look at that. Get out of here. Boom. Just fucking cocky Tony Clinton this season. They'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Defoe has it, and it's a quick out number one. You know, Tony Click got out of hand at the end of last season. Got a rat tail. Thought he was a big, tough guy. Trying to be a big guy, a big shot because he's in the majors. Didn't go so well. He was trying to rebel against the organization with the Atlanta Braves. But now I think he's in a groove. He's back being comfortable with this team. I like how I'm bullshitting this, like, lore for this guy. I'm just trying to come up on top of my head. Like, now he's comfortable. You know, he's he's learned to enjoy Atlanta. He's He's liking the team now. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Get your pitch, get your pitch, huh? Let's go. And the oh, got him. Swinging, two gone. Bring it. <laughs> That's why I hear him yell at each other like that, and then they're going to give up a home run. We'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1-0. He's going to have to make adjustment on that slider away. He can't just make it a non-competitive pitch and allow these guys to pitch. Everything I throw is competitive. I'm super competitive. To get that swing and miss on the outer half. Ooh, Jesus. Hit him in the leg, why don't you? Two out, nobody on.
Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you took that. Glad you just left that. Ooh, got him. Yes. I'll take that. Philadelphia is so pretty. Never been. But then again, I've never really been out of state where I'm at. My side of the world. Ariette is ready. First pitch on the way. Popped him up. Joseph on the oh. move. Couldn't let it drop. Couldn't let me get a mulligan. Stepping up to the plate, Brad Miller. As we move on to the bottom of inning number three. First pitch is a I like your style, Miller, except I, I'm more of a batting glove kind of guy. Now, granted, I'm usually a two, but my guy's equipment makes me have to wear one. Level arm like this. One ball, one strike to count. That's why I have one glove randomly. Hit on the ground out to short. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Jake hey, Arietta. And he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He doing good? I don't know. I'm not following seasons. He's still really good. Was he really good ever? Like, every time you hear about pitchers, like, I hear, like, certain names, but for the most part, I always hear about your clerk. Uh, what is it? Curtin, Clay, something. Ah, oh, fuck, I already forgot his name. The guy from the Dodgers. Kershaw or something like that, right? I, I literally am brain farting. Like, I, I literally just, like, I hear the names. Curtin, Clay, Shaw or something like that. Fucking say it all wrong now, and now it's gonna bother me if I don't look it up real quick. I have to look now. I might not not. Uh... Jesus Christ, I can't get it. Sorry. Clayton Kershaw, alright, so I was thinking it. For some reason, literally think, I'm like mushing a bunch of words in his name all into one thing, and I'm like, what the fuck is it again? The one, two. <laughs> like, when you, like, that's the thing, like, I don't hear a lot of pitcher certain pitchers sometimes i'm like well that and then of course like for a while i was hearing about like the mets like big pitching to line up with like Syndergaard, uh jacob de grom <coughs> matt harvey flopped and that was like what on the reds or something he thinks he's so great and he didn't want to go to minor leagues for one like i hear minor things because i literally of the people i follow on twitter will be like brief conversations as well as seeing what's up trending on twitter probably taking at least one pitch to give his pitcher a chance to sit down after he already made the second out a ball and a strike to the Phillies leadoff man straight up, straight up, popped him up popped it up I'm getting it whoosh Just like fly over there the inning is over all right famous third and that'll bring in JP Crawford he'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game this game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score, you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in. Ooh, well, from outside in, not a great pitch, but I'm not going to complain about it. After being down 0-2, I think at the very least you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit, try and get back into a decent count where maybe you can come through. Slow heat. I'll take it. Throw a lot of off speed. Throw a little bit of a heater. Not bad, not bad out there. Once again, Reese Hoskins, for one after he took Starting to feel it again. Ooh, and I got that call. Strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. Hit on the ground is short. Oh, he fucked up a little, but he's slow, and we can make it up. Good. Fucked up a little out there. Come on now. Not hard to feel the slow chance. grounder. Joseph, Might have not been that slow. The game may have made it look slow. You just have to think one step at a time. If you're thinking too much, you start bobbling shit. Come a mess out there. Four. 
Hmm, that thing he didn't do much with that. It a little foul. The one and two pitch. This is it. Oh, the hanging curve. That was going to be the, the first home run of this season given up. And that retires the side. All right. Digging in to try it again. Must be just doing the same thing. Area is burning through our team, and I'm trying my best against them. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Rip down the Ooh, line. Ooh, good, good fielding, but will he get him? Got him. Good range out there at third. Is that Dawson again or whatever? Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jorge Alfaro. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last. Ooh, wanted the corner. Ball one. Rarely start with the fastball. But I would count. throw him off a little. One out, nobody on. Just got a piece up the line. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Michael Franco was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he'll start the at bat with a slider that didn't miss by a whole lot. It's ball one. But outside, let's try to go inside. It's something to be proud of any time you can pitch a good game in this Oh, good job, Freeman. That is not a great catch to try to make, especially in the sunlight. Stepping in for the Braves, big dog Tony. He flew out in his last at And six inning, and I've only been up once, so you definitely tell we are having a slow go at this. Swing and a miss at a ball down. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there. I don't think we have a hit. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. One and one the count. It's like looking around. The one one. Popped him up. Williams. Nobody's going to get it. Yes. And that's the first, hit of, that's the first the hit of the ball game. I've had pitchers ruin my shit. I'm ruining yours. Yeah, I've been impressed with this guy. Not only has he thrown the ball well. So next to the plate for the Didn't do enough to disrupt him, but hey, it works. I already gave my hit up, so. Hey, where'd you get your stirrups? Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Oh, God, I'm sw swinging for that. I almost said switching for that. I don't know what that fucking means. <laughs> He's switching for it. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Jake Arrieta, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Good job, Freeman. And he'll step on first Routine play. Unassisted. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Odubel Herrera, one for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. One ball, no strikes to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Weak chopper up the line. That winds up foul. Down the line. Oh, and he couldn't get it. Good try, though. And I hit my bumper in my R1. Good arm out there at third. Don't, oh, couldn't get him. I think he's the only guy who's gotten hits against me, so. Oh, man, we just keep getting so many 50-50. And there's that. That was kind of 50-50 again. That's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key stuff. to being dominant on the mound. I got stuff. It doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does. I don't have great control. I love what he says, outstanding control. No idea where that sinker was going. Still two and two. Two, two. Oh, God. Oh, that was going to plunk him. 
with the meat of the order due up next, you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count. A nice, really long breaking sinker ball. Think of it as that. Hold him off, though, so it's an error. I didn't give up that hit. We'll have to see how they want to score that play. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. And their runners at the corners now. No balls in one strike. Here comes the 0 1. Looks Double a good back-to-back -back knuckleballs. Back That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0-1-2. Let's see if he can battle back in this AB. The 1-2. Yeah. And got him. Missed, he got him. Didn't know what to expect coming. We'll see Freddie. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody put something together. To hey, they put something last one inning. One one they did good on that. They got an error and a double. Or a, yeah, yeah, double. Think for a minute. Like, what happened last inning? I try to have a short-term memory of what happens. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Up next will be Nick Williams. He was a ground out victim oh, last time up. Five. Right, right down the middle. Try and get an idea. It's 0 and 1. Hey, we're moving into the later innings right here. This guy's continuing to pitch well with this first pitch strike percentage well over 60%. That's a that's, average. So that's all right, 60%. I mean, sometimes I've been pretty high, but we have had some pretty nasty, like, 50-50 first pitch calls like that like that's good but most of the time we've been getting those as uh no's for us hard liner to center field oh, he's gonna track it down he does got some good fielders out there or it's not made an error but you know it happens justin boar come on justin boar and we won the game i'll take it game two to one the final score this afternoon Hey, I'll take it. The victory, despite only collecting four total hits. Eight strikeouts. That, that's what we needed right there. That's the Tony clip we know. Two hits, eight strikeouts. That was just nothing but a dominating performance. And I think, I, to be honest, I should have looked at the pitching lineup between me and uh, Arietta Because we both, both really pushed that, that game. Um, do the box score. Oh, shh. Pitching, pitching, pitching. Pitcher. Arietta went seven innings. He only gave up one hit with two strikeouts and two walks. I pitched through seven innings, gave up two hits, no walks, but eight strikeouts. I somehow struck out better than Arietta. Now, I don't know if he's a really big strikeout guy, but I'm not usually the strikeout guy, but I had their entire team just completely off balance. Like, granted, they're not doing good. They're probably all in a cold spell. But the end of the game, pretty much an even line score into the tenth. Two hit, four hits through all of that. Two. That was a just a, overall. That was just a fun game right there.